Now, what if we want to do that same thing inside of Integromat? Okay, so we're comparing. We're comparing all three. So let's get through. Let's get to it. We want to use Webflow. What services do you want to integrate? Webflow. I also want to integrate uh, Google Sheets. There we go. So I have those selected and continue. Completely different UI. Integromat has a lot of power, but with great power comes great responsibility or in great code. Okay, so Integromat is hard to learn. I'm gonna tell you that right now, and I'm gonna to try to break it down as simple as I can. Uh, cause that's what I like doing, but here we go. Click here. All right. So webhook. So this is all the things you can do with Webflow, right? Uh, inside of Tegramat. Kind of crazy. Oh, no, I didn't want update order. No, no cancel. Duh. Delete. There we go. Let's try that again. Or web Webflow and watch events. And so immediately it's confusing. If you don't know what a webhook is, then you're probably like, what? But when you compare it to here, to Zapier, it says when this happens, form submission. Ah, okay, I get it. For here, it's webhook. Okay, I guess I will add and yeah. So now you would have to, uh, when you click add on your connection, then it'll ask you to connect, uh, log into your Webflow account so you can connect Zapier, or sorry, Integromat with your Webflow uh, account. Okay, so after that's done, then you can find your site ID and it's it's an ugly drop down whereas you go to zapier and you choose yeah you choose your site name it's pretty look at how pretty this is compare this with this and you can't even and you can't even start typing like uh, like here if i want to search i can do pixel geek automate okay there it is here in integral mat you have to you have to just type and then look for it uh is it at the bottom i don't know there's just uh, where is it but in actuality what's it what it's looking for is the site id so if i click wait i thought there's a way to oh god i have to find it if you have a lot of sites that drop down is crap. <laughs> All right. Anyways, now trigger type. Now this makes sense. This part makes sense. Oh, okay. When someone submits a form. So I went through all those steps and confusion when this, is, when Webflow, or I mean, sorry, Zapier makes it more conversational. So in the visual dev podcast that I did with uh, Ben and his team, I said, Integromat isn't meant for humans. It doesn't speak to me as a human. It speaks to me as a robot, you know? Um, and I'm like, no, I don't want, this is supposed to be no code. So talk to me like a human being. So yeah, we're here. Click save. Yay, we're done with the first step. Took us a while. <laughs> That's okay. Cool. We're done with that. Phew! So this, we can drag it around because this is like, this is kind of like um, whimsical. This thing right here. It's kind of like this where you can just drag it around anywhere. And so you can visually see what your automation is doing. So now I want to connect Webflow with Google Sheets. So I want to add a row. Cool. And so if I make, kind of like magnets, if I get this any closer, pfft, now they're connected. Yay. If I go further, not connected. 
kind of looks like someone with headphones. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to click that and it's loading a spreadsheet. And then it's like, okay, uh, let's connect to your account. So let me connect it real quick. So I'm going to add, um, I'm going to connect to my, to my Google drive real quick. Mm -hmm. Verify connection. Cool. So you're here, you've added your, um, Google account, select spreadsheet. And so what is mode? Map spreadsheet and sheet manually. What is, what does that mean? I'm guessing to leave it like that. Okay. Anyways, spreadsheet. Cool. Example. Cool. So I found my stream example. Sheet, sheet one. Does this table contain headers? Yes, it does. So it found my name, location, and message. This that I just did is just doing this second part right here. It found the spreadsheet and then it found the headers. But let's keep going. So now we have to connect the dots. So this is the part of Integromat that made me go, why? So the data is already in Google Sheets. Oh no, sorry. The data is already inside of Webflow. But Integromat doesn't look for it. Nope, it doesn't. It doesn't look for it. It looks for new submissions. So if I'm looking for, okay, where do I connect name? I don't see name in this list. The reason why is because you have to test it first. So I have to unhook these. Hey, let go. Right click, unlink. So I have to unhook these and press run once. So now it's waiting for a new form submission. Why can't it just take the data that's already here? Anyways, Nelson Integromat, location, binary. I don't know what even that means. Uh, hello world, submit. Now that's done. Oh, look, Webflow uh, Integromat found it. Huzzah. Now we can connect the two. Click on Google Sheets. Name, location, message. Now we connected the strings. All right. All right, so now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and run once and look, I've tested it already. That data, just like, um, Zapier, that data, we can just test it immediately. We didn't have to send in another form submission, but the only way to test is to send a new piece of information. Testing again, hello world. Submit, refresh, go to Integromat. And so it ran. So this is, it ran. You can tell it uh, went well because it has the number one. So if I go back to my Google sheet, there it is. So for Integromat doing the same thing, it's kind of more complicated. However, you can do some crazy things with Integromat in, in, in do so many things. For example, like for the better together website that I did, like this, if I want to send an email or actually no, if I want to add my business to this directory, I can do that and with Integromat and it's crazy. So if someone submits a form, then I can make sure that the form is cleaned up a bit. And then if that form 
has uh, one of the pieces of data that um, qualifies it to be on the site, then it'll keep going this way. And then if it's qualified to be part, uh, if it's qualified to immediately go on the web, uh, website, then we keep it going and send them an email. If they're not qualified, then they get an email immediately saying, okay, sorry, you can't be on the, the website for this reason. So this, that's pretty cool. But it took me so long to figure out. And we're not going to go into this, how I did this, because um, it's it's super duper powerful, but confusing. Uh, there are one record. Let's see here. Did someone submit? Eric, Niobe, Nelson, you rock. Thank you. So I can go here to my diagram, run and process the existing. Cool, it processed that one. And so now it's in my Google Sheet. And this is what's actually happening. It's all this weird things that are happening that just does exactly what Zapier does, okay? But again, just like uh, Bernard said, it's a powerful platform. And like I said be before I even started this one, with great power comes great responsibility because there's so many you have to understand or have to not be scared to open things and kind of understand what they they say i mean what uh values data input i just all right let's put in webflow one more time so let's go ahead and create an item inside of our collection. So I'm going to make this the last step, loading site ID. And I'm going to, I think it's pulling from that one. Uh, there we go. Collection ID, stream collections. Yeah. And then since I already tested, I mean, since we already ran, because someone helped test, thank you, Eric. I can just connect the dots. And there we go. Slug, we can leave it blank. Is this archived? No. Is this live? Yes. Press OK. And then we can turn this on. Cool. So now, Nelson Integromat 3 test 3 hello chat submit cool and if I check it here did did it go through there's no number one here it didn't go through Oh, I didn't save. See, that's what I mean. <sighs> okay, now I have to save. Like, if I'm scheduling, if, if I turn this automation on, shouldn't Integromat say, save it? Like, hey, you made some changes. Do you want to save it? Like, yeah, of course I want to save it. Trying again. Ugh. Come on. Submit. I don't have to. Wait, hold on. There. It demands a huge learning curve. Thanks for slugging through it. Yeah, yeah, it's a huge learning curve. Huge. <sighs> 